In the spring of 2019, I moved to New York. Um, previously, I was in Florida my whole life, had gone to school there. Um, I got a job at a physical therapy center where we only treat dancers and artists. I'm a dancer myself. So I really like dove headfirst into New York City and everything I had to offer. I was going to shows, I was doing all these social events, I was working, and everything was in my mind perfect. Like, what could possibly go wrong? Everything was really, really fantastic. March of 2020, um, when the pandemic hit and it hit this city really hard. I was pulled from the department that I currently work for and I was reassigned to work in the actual hospital, working night shifts, cleaning, um, cleaning every surface imaginable on my hands and knees, scrubbing floors, scrubbing toilets, vacuuming, sweeping, completely by myself. I wouldn't see anybody else for hours. I was terrified. I used to have panic attacks on the way to the bus. I couldn't catch my breath, I couldn't breathe. I would have to reteach myself how to breathe on my commute. I would spend those nights on the floors, you know, I would open up the note app on my phone and just like unleash my anger at God. Pages and pages of just how mad I was. I felt forgotten and brushed aside. It was the darkest place I've ever been. In the early spring of 2021, uh, my roommate that I was living with at the time, her sister, suggested that we should get back involved in a church. So me and my roommate joined a dinner party virtually. Shout out to Frank and Marty Wheatley for creating an environment that was fun and enjoyable over a computer. Um, being in this virtual space with absolute strangers and we kept wanting to come back. I started going back in person. I started getting involved and in the back of my mind, I knew that there was an elephant in the room between me and God. Like there was something that had not been addressed. Like even though I was you know, going to church and dinner parties and serving, there was still something there that needed to be healed. And I remember standing on the platform of the sixth train on my way to work, and I'm looking at the information to sign up for a freedom dinner party. And I really felt that pull from the Holy Spirit. And he said, do it. You know that there is something we need to talk about. I said, okay. So I joined this dinner party and this is when I really started to address that thing between me and God, this chasm that I felt like couldn't be crossed. A truth that I discovered I had a really hard time believing was this truth that I'm chosen. There was a week in our freedom course where we had to write letters of forgiveness that was a really difficult thing for me to do. Reading them out loud and the power of those words really changed something in me. Um, and I have my letter that I wrote to God. Dear God, I'm sorry for shutting you out. I knew you were there the whole time. I thought that just because my situation wasn't changing that it meant you weren't there but you are always there, especially in the worst times of all. Thank you for choosing me even when others or myself do not. I just felt this release. I felt that lie release out of me. God's purpose for your life and God's gifts for you are not dictated by your season. Some days are obviously harder than others. No, I'm waking up every day and I'm choosing to believe that I am chosen because his word is true and it's steady and it's the same yesterday, today and forever. I will always be chosen.